Only one way to cure him. He did the monster match. It was a great oh, Hello and welcome to BBLB at 6 o'clock. It's day 78 or the night of the living dead on the show today. He's an ex-housemate, but that doesn't count because he was a zombie at the time. It's star of Dead Set, Adam Deacon, everybody. But don't worry, don't worry, because fending off the undead with an antibacterial wipe and a moist chamois, it's the wonderful Anthea Turner, everybody. First off... It's become a tradition over the last 11 weeks to start the show with the very latest news, but not today. Not... Uh, actually, yesterday also. Uh, it's BBLB News 25. BBLB News 25. 24 hour news and then some. So, first up, David failed to identify Marcus's mummy yesterday. Regardless, they passed the haunted house task, everybody. <laughs> But what we didn't see, what we didn't see was Big David post-task convinced he'd got the right mummy. What's your mum look like, Marcus? Is she tall or short? She's got a pointy nose. Dark hair? No. And, uh... Is she quite short, Marcus? Not really short. I think I've got it then. Is she short? No. Has she got dark hair? No. Well done, David. Uh, now, next up, a lone voice from over the wall played on David's insecurities yesterday at 9.20 whilst the big guy chatted in the garden with B, everybody. I think that you would be a great representative for Vivian Westwood yeah. because you feel passionately about Vivian Westwood and anyone that comes into the shop and who's going to spend a lot of money... ..get David kicked out. Mm -hmm. Oh, now this comment soon managed to reignite David's B problem. B wouldn't stop banging on about the voice, and meanwhile, David just wanted to forget. I was just saying I think it's terrible anyone would shout anything over the wall. I and he was like, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. And I was like, yeah, but I know you're a sensitive person. When I say I'm sensitive, it means I'm sensitive to how people treat me. If I give somebody my heart and the stamp on it from my face, that's how I'm sensitive. You've accused me of stamping on your heart, but you won't tell me how? Because I don't want to talk to anymore, B. I really don't care. We don't get on, fair enough, end off, so just leave it. Now, after that, does B still think David would be the perfect representative for Vivian Westwood? Of course she does. Today, Dave was saying that if he leaves on Friday, what he's going to do is go to his local branch of Vivian Westwood and he's going to try and get a job. Good luck with that, was my immediate reaction. Oh, uh, out of order. And uh, now, finally, some, right, some, uh, some light relief from the biatching in the house. Biatching. Uh, Sophie was intent on having fun last night. Good job. She had a rod to keep her upright. Come here, come here. He's a funny one, that one. <laughs> Sophie, come here. <laughs> Sophie. Oh, it's It's really heavy. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I'm not falling that much, mate. Watch your backs, boys, when you're lifting her. Uh, that's it for today's BBLB News 25. BBLB News 25. 24 hour news and then some. Now, my first guest tonight is made of stern stuff. I'd wager that she'd have no hesitation in donning her marigolds and scrubbing up after Marcus has been in the car seat. Here's a reminder of her six days in the Celebrity Big Brother house. Give it up for TV Golden Girl, Anthea Turner! Hello, Anthea. Hi. <laughs> the general theme is pretty, just like Miss Turner herself. Here she is with her little gloves on and a Domestos wipe. I'm feeling grubby now. The third person to leave the Big Brother house will be Anthea. I travelled the world <laughs> with wish you were here. <laughs> now I just want to know, <laughs> do I still have a career? Please welcome Anthea Turner, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Now, am I, Anthea, am I right in saying that was the very first celebrity? The very, very first celebrity Big Brother. We did it for comic relief. Nobody got paid. We were only in for a week. Wow. It was just a bit of a laugh, really. We'll come back in January. You can earn I'd... a few quid. 
<laughs> I know, but yeah. he gets paid so much now. I it's know, not I know, fun. I know. Uh, now, how about this series? You yeah. enjoying it? I believe you've got more and more immersed as it's, it's I have. Gone on. You know why? It's because the great British public have left all the good ones in. Yeah. Bar one, probably, that I'd like to have kept in. However, the interesting ones are in. You know, sometimes, you know, all the boring ones end up staying in and we get all the good ones get out. And right, I just I know. hate so, it. So you're happy with it this year? I love it, yeah. Very, uh, very good. They, they, some of them have been in there 11 weeks now. Do you think you could have handled 11 weeks? I couldn't have had 11 weeks without a lot of cleaning. Have the, by the way, are they changing the beds? Yeah, they change them every week, apparently. Oh, I'm so glad. What about Marcus? Is that every day for him? I, I hope so. I hope so for oh, everybody's yeah, yeah. kind of hygiene standards. Uh, do, do you think Big Brother's been particularly cruel this year? There's been a lot of chat about, about Big Brother being quite tough this year. Rodriguez. What did, uh, do you know, it was like watching Doctor Who behind the sofa for me. Rodriguez. And, and he... Uh, the Queen. That yeah. was just so cruel to him. I actually cruel or funny, oh, guys? No, it was cruel. Funny. No, it was cruel. But isn't he great that he laughed at the end? Yeah. He laughed at himself. There was a little him. bit of you that giggled when he was going for it. Come on, Anthea. Just a I know little got a dark side, bit. Girl. Just a little bit. And I wanted to talk to you about the one housemate okay. who you'd, you'd like to still have in there, Angel, right? I'd have loved Angel to have stayed. Yeah. She was fantastic. She was great telly. <laughs> yeah, we like people who are nuts. Why yeah. do you think we're all here? No, she's, she's, she's an interesting character. Yeah. She's, but anyway, she's, she's heading for Eurovision now. So, Fabulous. Uh, are, are you going to sign on the petition? No, absolutely. To try and get her to Norway? We were going to back yeah. that, guys. Yeah? Uh, who, would you, who would you like to see out the house next? I think Marcus, really. Marcus. Really? Yeah. Why yeah. so? I don't, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't like his, his hygiene. I don't like what he does in the bath. Is that a spectator sport? What's Should we be looking at that? What, are people ba bathing? No. Or Marcus bathing? Marcus in oh, the right. bathroom. And, um, and, and I just got fed up with the fuzz and the hair. Too you know, much, that yeah? It's just all too much now. I'd really, I think Marcus, I think he's done what I think, he came I think to he, do. There's a little bit of him, he's, he's ready to come out. I, we I, had his mum on the show yesterday, I, she's I a think, lovely lady. I think he should go now. Right, I think okay. he should go and get a shave. Uh, now, you are, you're officially TV's most perfect housewife, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and like we've said, uh, the hygiene in there leaves a little bit to be desired. You're right, yeah. Uh, I'd like to have a little look at this okay. uh, and tell us what you think, all, all right? right? For weeks, the house was pristine. Housemates worked hard to keep everything spick and span. But then dirt and grime reared its ugly head. This so-called kitchen became a resting place for filth, crumbs, grease. And this is supposed to be a bathroom. Scum, dirty pants and disgusting grime. Housemates, clean your act up. Oh, oh does that make your skin it, crawl? No, I can't deal with that. I want to be... In fact, I want to go in there you now. want to go in there and, and, I and, and go give it a quick blitz? And clean it all up. Right, I mean, obviously, the, the you know, Big Brother makes sure that they do kind of cleaning tasks yeah, yeah. every now and again, but do you think they could be doing it a little bit more? Well, of course, you know, we talk about this, you know, the filth has, has sort of descended upon them. It's their filth. It's We've their got some dirt. stills of their filth, actually. So have a little look at this. Look. look at oh that all swept God. under there. That is just rank. What else have we got? What else have we got? What is yeah, that? Oh, I don't know. But it's... Oh, this is disgusting. This I think is that so sausage disgusting. just winked at me. I think that's still oh, alive. That's no. disgusting. Right, okay, so guess what we did? We sent a runner in last night right. to, uh, to gather some evidence from the house, right? Just going to put a little uh, plastic glove on very quickly here. Uh, and guess what they found? Right, exhibit A. Right. This is just rank, all right? They cleaned the, uh, they cleaned the dining table. Uh, you know what? What the hell? Right? You're going to touch they it, cleaned... aren't you? They clean the dining table. Look at that, right? That's a dinner oh, table. Oh, no, they're and eating And they got that off that. there. How can, we, how can we make that dining table that little, bit, well, uh, that little bit cleaner? We've got to use white vinegar, really, which is sort of quite acidic, and it will get rid of all, of all the grubbiness. But then you've got to polish it up, make it look all nice and shiny. Buff it up, so yeah? buff it up with a bit of mayonnaise what about this? on a cloth. Exhibit that would be C, nice. this is from the toilet, covered in oh, hairs and all sorts no. of rank stuff. That's just, that's oh. just straight nasty. Yeah? Well, what they've got, they've got cola in there. So yeah. maybe if they get some cola and they stick it down the toilet, that gets rid of the of the protein which is in the skiddy bits in the toilet. Okay, the... Or headache tablets, fizzy headache tablets. Well, wow, you're amazing. Yeah, huh? you can pop those it's down. Like Ray Mears, fine. but for the house, basically. <laughs> hey, give her a massive round of applause, everybody. Thank you. Not going anywhere. She's going to be sticking around uh, to show us something. We're going to make something together, right? Yeah. Can't wait. Uh, still to come. Terrifying spooks, spectres, and ghouls. It can't be right. Angel was on yesterday. See you in three. 
I've been a naughty boy. <coughs> I deserve a good spanking and sent to bed without no supper. <laughs> I've got some breaking news for you, everybody. There's been some gossip magazines got into the house. They're now reading articles about themselves. Have a look at this. Is Sophie pregnant? What? Oh, my God! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, it's not funny. Oh, God. Oh, God. The arrival of Bonkers B. Oh, when, oh my God! When was there you are, Bonkers. That only I'm got not the bloody train. Bonkers. Here are the first what pics. Is, is, is your girlfriend? We met through friends last year, and we've been the together for about four it. months. Let me read when the date was: 27th of July. See, Vash is a very decent, respectful person, and despite his comments that other housemates must fancy him, Laura says she isn't worried about him straying. That's. Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> oh, God. Can't wait to see how that turns out. Now, tomorrow night, one of these housemates will come to an untimely end. You know what to do. <laughs> to Vic B, call 090-16-16-17. To Vic David, call 090-16-16-18. To Vic Marcus, call 090-16-16-09. Calls cost 35p from a BT landline. Other networks may vary. Mobiles will cost considerably more. Details and terms at channel4.com forward slash Big Brother. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show. Now, my next guest played a fictional housemate in a fictional Big Brother house until the living dead rose from the ground and took over the country. Just another Friday night in Boreham Wood, then. Let's take a look. Face! Yeah! Can you open the diary of dogs? Dude. Can you? His name in Dead Set was, uh, was Space, right? Yep. Talk us through Dead Set for those who didn't see it. Dead Set was, um, it was based obviously around Big Brother yep. and it just started off like a, a normal episode and then um, zombies start taking over the world. Right, okay. And obviously the contestants in the house are the last to know about it. They don't know what's going on in the real world. Oh my God, so the next thing you know, you're in the house and they're all trying to get in they're and all you're trying to right, get in. And, and, then, and then we realise, okay, well, the safest place to be yeah. is in the house itself. So we kind of stay there. And what and, happens? We try and fight them off, yeah. try and do our thing, but yeah. we all get killed. Ah. Right. <laughs> so right, there's no that sequel then. for that. Right, there's no sequel no, for that. No, no absolutely. <laughs> no. Uh, were any of the scenes shot up here at Boreham Wood? Do you know what? Um, the eviction, one of the first scenes in it, um, the eviction that with one of the actresses coming out of the house, and that was all filmed. Because Davina actual... was in it as well, wasn't yep, she? Yeah, Davina done her thing there. And they got the, um, the audience to obviously pretend that they knew who that was coming out. And... Right, okay, okay. So, yeah, it was... Pretty realistic stuff yeah. then. Uh, now, imagine you're in the house uh, with, the, with the current batch of housemates and the zombies are trying to get you. Who, who's going to be your, your wingman? Who's going to back you up? I'm guessing maybe Marcus. Really? He's a bit of a wolf, the wolf kind man, of guy. Yeah. That, yeah, he might yeah. be able to pull out some moves or something. You know what I mean? Well, apparently he can fight 100 men back to back to back, apparently. Yeah, no, apparently he could do that. <laughs> don't know if I believe him. No, I don't know. Uh, now, and, and who do you think would be useless against the living dead? David. Really? He's a bit living dead himself, isn't he? Yes, I can't, I can't imagine him, him putting up too much no. of a fight. No. No, right, OK, so David, right. And then, uh, and what about, obviously, you got bumped off by Ashleen, didn't you? I did. She ran... I mean, that's, Ashleen's a pretty scary lady at the best she of is, times. Man. If she's zombified, that's going to be fairly horrific. She scared me, like, that's, that's the thing as well. They all had their makeup on and all that. It was quite a scary set to be around. Yeah? And Ashleen, yeah, she... she who who do you think should go on Friday? Definitely B. Really? It's gotta be B. It's gotta be. But that's a very popular choice. It's got to be. I've, she just does my head in, man. When she, when she got in the show, I thought, OK, she's a nice, sweet girl. Yeah. She's doing her thing. And then the way she just started acting, like, towards Freddie and 
She just, she's I don't lost know, you, right? She's yeah, lost she's you. She's she, you were a fan at the beginning and, and now yeah. you've, you've turned on she's her, yeah? She's just turned into a real drama queen and a bit of a spark for that as well. I just mm. think she needs a bit of a reality check, man. Okay, I'm, well, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Anybody you're dead set on winning? <laughs> oh, um, yes. I think Sia Vash, you know? Really? Yeah. Right, yeah. okay, why so? I think he's just, out of all of them, he just seems the most mellow headed yeah. one out of the lot. Um, you see, I mean, he's not what I expected. When I saw the, the beginning episode of Big you Brother, saw, oh, yeah, go. I thought yeah. a bit no, no, He seems like a nice guy. That. Yeah, man. Uh, now, big news, everybody. Earlier this week, scientists in Canada released an official report on what would happen if zombies actually existed. And joining us on the phone from Ottawa is one of the men behind the study. Philip Muntz, are you there? Hello. Philip, hello, mate. Looking Hi. good in the photo. Uh, now, oh, your thank you very much. Your story was the second most read story on the BBC News website. How about that? That's, that's pretty incredible. Uh, the response, phenomenal. Holy crap. Uh, I only thought academics would be reading this. We, and, we, and, we know, were all interested. It, why well, on everybody's earth? Everybody's interested. Why on earth did you do the study? Uh, this, uh, this idea came up for a course. I had to do it for a class. I thought, I'm, uh, you know, thinking a little crazy. You know, I'm a mathematician. Who, We're all crazy. Who's, oh, you are a crazy bunch, you mathematicians. New, new Wild. Idea, never been done. Yeah. Let's try it anyway. Who funded the project? Uh, it was not funded at all. Uh, right. I, uh, I worked on it in my free time uh, while I was putting myself through school, and my friends were helping me out doing that, too, while they were working, putting themselves through school, too. What, w what would happen if the undead turned up here in Borehamwood? They'd probably get a well, fright if they went down the high street. You know, I've got some really bad news for you. If they turned up in Borehamwood, you would have no chance. You know, you're very really? close to London. London is a very big city. Be Never. One of the first to go. Big cities gone right. first within days. All right, Adam. Borehamwood, Sorry, just a wave of zombies. Philip, Philip, yeah. wicked. Thanks very much, mate. It's fantastic. Give him a big round of applause. And Adam as well. Give Adam a big round of applause. Thank you. Uh, now, as we heard in the news, they passed this week's shopping and have a luxury budget. That should put an end to the epic struggle known as Star Wars. A long time ago in a galaxy not far from the A41, the dark forces of hunger grow ever nearer, and it's up to a brave band of housemates to use the source. Marcus. Three bowls of cornflakes, beans on toast twice, six slices of bread. And Luke Pistalker. See you, Vash. Are you not eating that, Sophie? Do you want it? I will not say no. As Obi-Wan Cannelloni. I am so on the... Lisa. But I love frosties, but I don't like anything else. A cereal 3 p.m. I want lunch. I'm starving. Sophie. I'm meant to be on my diet today. As Princess Derry Lear. <laughs> David. Do I have chip butters? Oh, yeah. chips and mayonnaise. Uh, as Jubati. Star Wars. May the farts be with you. Oh, Siavash! <laughs> Big thank you to George Lucas for sending that one in. Now it's time for... Oh, hello, Anthea. Hello there, George. How are you doing, lovely? I'm very well, thank you. What are you. you going to make for us today? Well, today, George, you are yeah. going to be making the Big Brother Diary Room. Wow, <laughs> wow. And you can make it at home as well. Really? If you follow these steps. OK, now, I've heard All the good right. news is apparently you're going to be coming in every week and we're just we're going to build a whole house, is that right? No. No? No. Oh. No. All right, so we just... Never mind, let's move on. Right, Slightly now, awkward. first Slightly thing awkward. you need right. is, at home, is you need a shoebox. Yeah, got and one, shoebox, have make, it. To make the chair, which is going to look like that, yeah. you're going to need a cornflake Corn box. Plenty of you those. have to cut the chair out of the cornflake box. Yeah. I'm going to hand the scissors over yeah. to you. Oh, look at that, in a no chance. No responsible ch manner. Right, yeah, OK, okay. Yes. And got that. And these are sharp scissors. Be you careful. might need an adult to help you. Right. OK, All right, then. speed okay, it up then. a bit. We want the chair to be standing okay. up like that, glue it all together. Together. And then on the side of the walls, we're going to use. How do I put these cards. on? How do I? We're going to use sticky tape to oh, put fantastic. these on. Oh, fantastic! Not okay, sellotape. Then. Sticky no. tape. Sticky everyone. tape. You can't say yeah. sellotape. No, you can't say it. Sticky Just... tape. Come on, you've got to be very quick right. with this because you are on Blue Peter, right, and we okay. don't mess around. This is going well. But I tell you what, I do yeah. have. If it would help that's you that. out, I wow. have that's one. That's almost like being in there. That, isn't it, eh? <laughs> I have one that I made earlier. Wow, there yeah, you yeah, go. Yeah, and look. 
Right. And you've got a bit of upholstery on the chair as well. Right, now okay. then, the next thing you need to do is you need to use some papier mache. Papier, papier mache, mache good is times. A pieces of paper and glue right. all the way over. Papier Snap mache, there you go. There. Slap some on there all the way over. Can't mess around with papier mache. And once you put your papier mache on, then you've got to leave it, preferably in the airing cupboard, to dry. Oh. But all papier mache, it's got to be covered probably about three layers it of looks papier good. mache. The net looks here. Real good. And then it's going to look yep. like that. Wow! Uh, another one you made of. It's not the right then, colour, though, no, Anthea. It's not I'm, the right colour. It's not, little George. No. Right, okay. <laughs> And now you're going to paint it. Which brush would you like? Oh, this one, please, Beautiful. Mum. There you go. Thank so you, you paint it now in the Big Brother colours. And then we are going to use some sticky black pasta. Yeah! Easy for you to say. Yeah. Right. All over the chair. Yeah, I've got it a bit and green. Yes, you have got it a bit green. But we've right. got to put blue in and then we've got to put the sticky black pasta over the chair. This is going to take forever. Haven't you got another one you made earlier? No. The only thing Haven't is, you got you another know, one you made I haven't. Earlier. But, George, I am so fed up with this. This is huh? terrible. You're letting me down. In fact, I'm so embarrassed. Here's one I made earlier. Wow. Yeah. wow the original Tracy Island. That is it. Look. Yeah. It's the proper thing. Look Even at that. All the these rockets. bits come yeah, in and now oh. that's pretty impressive. I don't think I could make one with all this gubbins, I'm afraid. Andy Turner, everybody. Yeah. So that's it for today's show. Big thank you to all my guests. Make sure you watch the main show tonight, 10 o'clock on 4. I'll see you back here on E4 tomorrow at 6 with Jodie Marsh and the gorgeous Davina. Take care.